Fellas, there's been a ton of new information leaked online about the RTX 50 series, and let me tell you, it might just be everything I've been waiting for. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, so over the last week, there's been an absolute deluge of RTX 50 series leaks making their way online. And in my last video, we discussed how the well-known leaker Cop 87 Kimi came out and basically told us the full specs of the RTX 5080 and the RTX 5090. But since then, there's been even more information. In fact, so much information that we're going to have to get through this real quick. So let's just dive right into it. First, starting off with the RTX 5080, because it looks like there may actually be a second version of the RTX 5080 coming with even more VRAM. That's right, this comes from a videocards.com article where they actually found some information over on Chip Hell where somebody posted that apparently the RTX 5080 will be released in a 24 gigabyte version later. And in fact, if we go ahead and we take a look at the GDDR7 roadmap here, you can see that, well, yeah, coming from Micron, there are actually some capabilities here of producing three gigabyte modules. Now, a typical two gigabyte module would allow for up to 16 gigabytes of VRAM. However, according to not only this leak, but also official information from Micron, we do know that three gigabyte modules could be happening, meaning that yes, you could get 24 gigabytes of VRAM on an RTX 5080, just as this leak mentioned. But enough about that, let's go ahead and take a look at some more information. This this time coming actually from videocards.com once again, but spotted by Harokaze5719 over on Twitter. This one is definitely somebody that I know well, has definitely shared a ton of leaks over on Twitter, and he actually seems to have found a manifest of the RTX 50 series potential GPU SKUs. Now he went ahead and listed them all out. And so this is some really significant and interesting information because when you start to see these shipping manifests making their way online, it typically signifies that we're getting very close to a new generation actually hitting store shelves. And of course we will talk about that release date in just a moment here, but this is definitely very, very good news. And it looks like we could be seeing also based on this information, Founders Edition and reference making their way to your hands on day one. But now let's move on to the next bit of information here, which actually comes from WCCF Tech, where the RTX 4090 production potentially could have been halted. Now they state, quote, as reported by 3 Center, one of the users on the forum report that the RTX 4090 is no longer available to be ordered from distributors and the production stopped before October. He also said that it's highly likely that the remaining production is simply not intended for Germany. And they actually go on to mention that there does seem to be a lot of European retailers that just seem to not be able to get RTX 4090 stock anymore, which does actually signify that yes, potentially the RTX 4090 is starting to go end of life. Another great sign that the RTX 50 series could be right around the corner. This typically only happens right before a launch. And that's where I want to go ahead and segue into the next bit of information, which is actually a ton of information. And it does include a potential release date backed by multiple sources for the RTX 50 series. This is very exciting stuff, guys. And I can't wait for you to hear this because this might just make your day. Now, according to some more information coming from WCCF Tech, it looks like via the source bench life, they did find, quote, if there are no surprises, GeForce RTX 5090 and GeForce RTX 5080 will be officially released at CES 2025. At the same time, we may also see the GeForce RTX 50 series 
for notebook computers. I'll be honest guys, that's a little bit weird because typically Nvidia holds their own event for the RTX series that they're releasing. This would definitely be a first. They typically actually release them in September. So originally I was expecting the 50 series to launch sometime this year in September. And sure, there definitely is still a possibility that could be the case, but it does seem like based on the timelines of the shipping manifest and everything we're getting right now, that it's likely going to be after September that it gets released. And yes, CES would be the most likely time frame if it does slip into 2025. So I think there actually is some pretty good legitimacy behind this. And there's even multiple sources reporting this, not just Benchlife. Let's go ahead and continue because yes, it looks like, quote, The Verge's senior editor, Tom Warren, has also received word from their sources that cards are most likely going to launch at CES 2025. And there's the quote below as well. And typically, when somebody like Tom Warren comes out and states something like this, Yes, it's gonna have a much higher degree of confidence, at least for me, than something coming out of Benchlife. He's definitely a more reputable source, and when you get multiple sources saying the same thing, well, typically, where there's smoke, there's fire. So I would go ahead at this point in time and tentatively plan on CES 2025 being the release for the RTX 50 series, and that is some really huge news, meaning that we're just months away from the RTX 50 series officially making its way into your hands. And based on all the leaks and rumors, I'll go ahead and throw a chart up for you guys. Yes, the RTX 50 series is looking crazy. I mean, we're talking about a GPU with a massive increase in clock speeds on whether it's a Titan, a 5090, a 5080, what have you, they're all gonna be, at least from everything I'm hearing, targeting around three gigahertz clock speed instead of 2.5. And clock speed definitely scales better than cores, that's gonna be a huge improvement to the performance. And of course, if we have a 5080 with 16 gigabytes, another one with 24, and then an RTX 5090, which based on the most recent leaks and rumors, is actually gonna have 32 gigabytes of VRAM at nearly two terabytes per second. Well, that's actually an 80% increase to the actual memory bandwidth versus the RTX 4090, meaning that this card for memory intensive workloads, which includes super high resolutions like 4K, ultra wide 4K, 8K, and super high resolution VR, is going to make the RTX 5090 absolutely clobber the 4090. This is going to be a true 4K card and possibly the first true 5K or even 8K card in absolute behemoth. But of course, right now, we're expecting 400 watts for the 5080 and 600 watts for the 5090. So these things might be sucking down a lot of power and the price is a big question. Right now, I am expecting 899 for the RTX 5080, considering how cut down it is. It is literally almost exactly half of an RTX 5090. And the 5090, I'm expecting between 1800 to $2,000 for the Founders Edition, and AIB cards are probably going to exceed $2,000. So if you want the best of the best, it's gonna be very, very expensive, but it's also gonna be very, very fast. In fact, for 4K gaming, this might just be the largest improvement that we've ever seen, possibly since, as far back as I can even remember. This is going to be crazy, but there's one more thing I wanna leave you guys with that's very, very important, and according to Benchlife, and I'm very confident in this as well, quote, our news mentioned that the GeForce RTX 5090 will use a 14-layer PCB and will also introduce the PCIe 5.0 specification and HBR20's DisplayPort 2.1a. What that means is you will have the latest and greatest DisplayPort 2.1 connection, allowing for up to 80 gigabits per second of uncompressed bandwidth, which also means uncompressed, no display stream compression, no black screens, none of the nonsense that comes with that, 4K, 240 hertz, HDR, on your brand new, well, 4K 240 Hertz OLED monitor or what have you that you wanna use, or even with the use of DSC, we could be talking about 8K 144 Hertz or higher, super high resolution, super high frame rate, displays all the way from monitors to TVs to of course, VR devices as well. So I am very excited for the RTX 50 series. 
I think this is gonna be possibly one of the most exciting reveals that we've had in many, many years, and I just can't wait to get my hands on them to test just how fast they really are. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RTX 50 series really will be one of the most exciting generations ever, or do you think it's gonna fall short of expectations? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.